Well, this has got to be a first. We're checking into a caravan park without a van or a car. Back there was the view that Miranda had to cook to. That was my very first ever rodeo, and it was quite an event. <laughs> Miranda's calming her nerves with the bush chook. <laughs> Morning guys, and welcome back to another episode. So, a little bit different. We ain't got a car, or a trailer. <laughs> we just dropped it off at Kununurra full drive spares. Uh, we basically due for a service on both the camper and the car, and they do a gib ready service. So we're going to get the uh, the works done for the vehicle. And right now we are walking to Miranda's hair appointment to cover <laughs> up all the greys. Yes. <laughs> yep. Going to find a coffee shop. Um, what are we going to do while we're here? Don't know. We'll find out. Find the information centre and yeah. see what there is to do. Yeah, four nights. Kimberley Caravan Park, I think it's called, that we're Kimberley staying Land. At. Kimberley Land Caravan Park. Four nights, and we're going to check out what Kununurra has to offer. Yeah. All right, coffee time. Do you want someone to catch up? So Miranda's finally out of her appointment. It's amazing what an hour and a half could do. Rewinds the clock like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting for the car and the camper service. Tell them what your hairdresser said. About the... Oh, about where we're staying. Yeah, um, her and her partner are staying up here traveling at the moment and he's managing at or working at the Kimberley Land Park. And the other day they had to remove a freshwater crocodile out of the pool. <laughs> Was it gummy? No, not gummy. And they have a resident one there called Gummy. So that will be pretty cool, I think. Yeah. But yeah, they had to get a cage and get this thing out. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, so we're staying right on the lake, are we? Or right on the lagoon? Yeah. That's going to be awesome. Well, this has got to be a first. Still waiting on the car. We're checking into a caravan park without a van or a car. <laughs> well, it's about a kilometre we had to walk to get here. We figured. Instead of sitting around just twiddling our thumbs waiting for the car, we'll just come here and check it out. Check in and check it out, see where our site is. Have a look at the pool. And if we're unhappy with the site, we'll see if we can change. So that boab tree? Estimated 2,000 years old. And it says he's young. And it's considered a young boab tree. Still a youngster. Isn't that incredible? 2,000 years old. So we're actually still waiting on the uh, on the car and camper to be serviced. And it was a good thing actually because we checked in and we went and had a look at our site. You don't normally get to uh, check your sites before you turn up. And the site that we were booked onto wouldn't have worked. It was pretty small they booked us in as a camper trailer which is what we are but we're quite a large camper trailer especially when you put the awning out and there's no room for the awning or the vehicle so we actually came back to reception and we got pretty much a guided tour of the whole park we got on the back of the little uh, golf buggy all four of us and um we got a little, a little bit of a tour and oh you can have this bay or you can have this one or this one won't work because of this or that one so it was really good actually yeah it was great uh, very accommodating so we've changed um, locations still waiting on the car and as soon as we pick it up we know exactly how we're going to set ourselves up and at the moment Cameron and Jacqueline and Miranda have all got their feet in the pool just cooling off so while we're here in Kununurra they've got the Ord River muster there's a whole bunch of different events throughout the week and we're doing the the rodeo tomorrow night I think and there's a few other bits and pieces you can do throughout the week. And we're also going to a kangaroo refuse. 
where they raise joeys and um, I'm not too sure if they release them back to the wild when they're ready uh, but it's basically you know, roadkill survival um, or injured kangaroo like a wildlife sanctuary so we're doing that tomorrow with the kids and other than that I'm not entirely sure what we're getting up to just relaxing taking in the sights chilling out That was our chariot being test driven by the mechanic. We're just on our way back now to go pick it up. It's ended up being quite a long day actually. Because uh, we went out to drive 100 k's from Lake Argyle to Kununurra. So we dropped the car off at 9 o'clock this morning. And it's now 2.30. Full car and camper trailer service. <sighs> what is it going to be? A 3 o'clock set up? Yeah, Finish setting up by 3, 3.30, something like that. It's quite a late day considering we only drove 100 k's and we were at our destination at 9 o'clock this morning. Oh well. Bonus was we got to pick our side. Yeah. That worked yep. out well. It did, yes. Off our chauffeured <laughs> um, tour around the caravan park. It's quite good. Check out this site. Not even set up, just unhitched. That's Lily Lake, Lily Lagoon, which yeah. feeds into the Kununurra Lake. Check it out, eh? Pretty cool. So apparently there's a residential croc that comes right up. That's the boat ramp right there where all those lily pads are. So he comes up right there at about 4.30. So I'm gonna go and see if we can spot him. Oh, here he comes. You got something on your head, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he can smell bony. We're gonna say that. Oh, he's quite he's big, isn't he? Oh, Look yeah. at his body. I know. It's big enough. Wow. Um, I think he might go there. Look, no, look, it's really close. <laughs> you can see his tail. It, oh, oh he might go on for sure. <laughs> oh, look at the nails, though. They look like gel nails. Oh, oh, look, he's he's oh, his, his mouth's mouth. open. Yeah. Oh, be careful. I can see his teeth. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh look at his tail. He has spikes on his tail. He could jump from there. You be careful. Oh, oh. Yeah, I would. not turn only jump up straight. Look, his mouth is open. Mouth is open. <laughs> hey, Cam. I told you Gummy was doing something spectacular. He was. Put your toes over the edge, mate. See if he has a little nibble. Oh. <laughs> You only take one or two, he's only got a couple of teeth. He'll take your whole foot. <laughs> He'll just give you a little kiss. Yeah. your whole foot off. Oh, that's cool, hey? No teeth. Gummy's really well fed. Good morning everyone. Man, it got cold last night. I slept in my clothes. I've got my um, my long pants, my Ugg boots on, my flannel. And um, came out this morning, everything's soaking wet. It didn't rain. It's just the condensation, like the canvas is all wet, the floor's all wet, the chairs are all wet. Um, cracking morning though, that lake out there looks so peaceful. Coffee. Unfortunately, we need to stock up. We've run out of milk. I'm having a caramel flavored coffee this morning. It's probably gonna be absolutely disgusting. <clears throat> we're just discussing what we're gonna to do today. We need to go stock up, like I was saying earlier. Um, it's quite a sad day actually. This feels like a death in the family, to be honest. It's a tragedy. I've had a blowout. I didn't even bring a spare set. It's not as bad as our blowouts because that thing does not fall off. These are one of the most comfiest pairs of thongs I've ever had. I'll try and find you another one. If there's any international listeners out there, a thong is not underwear, by the way, it's footwear. <laughs> <laughs> My other thongs are fine, by the way, nice and comfy. 
Right, so this morning we're going shopping for thongs as well as, you know, not under underwear. Feet thongs, food, milk. milk. Um, we're headed to the Hookery Distillery as well. Going to go check that out. It is the oldest legal still that's been operating in Australia. And, oh yeah, WA. Or it might be WA, sorry. WA or Australia. Anyway, we'll go and check that out, see what they got to offer, maybe do some tastes. I think Miranda will be driving today. And yeah, that animal rescue. Well, I'm just on our way to that distillery. We thought we'd just pop in at Ivanhoe Crossing. It's closed at the moment. It's, uh, it's flowing big time. <laughs> Yeah. Once you soften it with a bit of um, sugar water, lime soda water, mm. white rum, tick. Um, I've been saying cookery, right? I've just been corrected by everyone, including my seven year old daughter, it's hoochery. We're just heading off to the Kangaroo Haven. It's only about 10 minutes from here, so the tour starts at 3 30. They run tours every day, Monday to Sunday, but you do need to book them and they need at least 24 hours notice. Um, I did struggle a little bit to book the tour online, but I was able to do it through their Facebook page and there is a number on there for Mandy, the owner, which you can also text if you're having any troubles. So it's uh, $15 a person. They also accept donations because uh, Mandy and her partner Mark just do this fully off of their own back. I don't think they get any funding for it and they've been doing it for over 15 years just rescuing started out kangaroos but now other animals and they rehabilitate them and take them back out into the wild. So I think we get to feed some joeys and um, see some other animals so it should be pretty cool. Sydney minor mo business. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Think of that, Jacqueline. It feels, it feels weird. They were back and the tour was fantastic. Mandy is and her husband too, he wasn't there, um, are just doing fantastic work for all these animals. She is so passionate. She works full time as well. It's exhausting to hear what this woman has to do on a daily basis, but she clearly loves every single one of those animals and she's just doing such a fantastic service to the community up here. 
Um, so Kangaroo Haven, if you're up in Kununurra, I highly recommend the tour. You've just got to book online. Um, you can do it either through Facebook um, or the website or she's got a number you can text. So definitely check them out. with some information I don't really know too much I think this zebra stone is only found in the Kimberley area of the world or Australia I think in the world oh, wow. I think it's just only located here and I read something I can't quite remember but I think it's gonna get to a point where it will no longer be able to be accessed anymore so oh, why is that? I forget <laughs> I read something and I don't remember what. There was something, I don't know, maybe it has to do with land rights or no longer be allowed to onto the land to mine them or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. Stay tuned if you're interested. <laughs> Oh, this is a throwing knife. Okay, you make me nervous. Ta, let go. Thank you. <laughs> so Miranda and Cameron are in there making their purchases. Jack and got a little thing as well. So that zebra stone is only found in this area in the East Kimberley. And um, it's a stump geologist a little bit as to the uh, exact process of the formation of them really cool though um miranda was saying that she feels that the, at the beginning that uh the supply is running out or it's it's, it's the access to it is changing but that's not the case lake argyle flooded a lot of it uh, but there is still a couple of uh, leases operational so they're not going to run out of it anytime soon but yeah it's really cool really cool stuff and just in case you're wondering that crocodile that big one 12 grand and it's estimated to be 1.2 billion year old rock so if you've got 12 grand you can buy 1.2 billion year old rock in the shape of a croc we got a um event over at the stage just on the other side where johnny cash was playing last night they've got uh, some other sort of um event on tonight which we're actually going to so we're gonna have a late lunch and then head on over there before we head out tonight all i can say is look out master chef how's it going buddy Hot. <laughs> so the rules around here are whoever cooks doesn't wash so generally Miranda does the cooking and me Cameron and Jacqueline wash dry and put away Cameron hates washing he hates drying he hates pushing away putting away sorry so he wanted to cook tonight, and this is what he's doing. We got <laughs> frozen veggies, pasta, koftas and sausages. How are you going, buddy? Flat out, aren't you? Okay. I... He keeps getting spat on as well by the by the Barbie. It's looking good though, Camo. <laughs> doing a great job, mate. Come and check your snaggers and koftas, mate. What are they looking like? Oh, yes. <laughs> A five. So we literally just crossed the road. The caravan park is there, <clears throat> and the main uh, what would you call it? the main arena for the Ord Valley Master on the other side. And this is called the Horizon Power Party in the Park. Horizon Power Party in the Park. Awesome. You, any idea what it's all about? It's just the final party for I think the things in this venue for the Ord River Valley Master. Yeah. Cool. Bring it, go on. 
ready? Go. Woo. Congratulations. <laughs> Do you need to go? Oh, that's all right, definitely. Do you want to come up and get a photo with Gilbert and your prize? Congratulations. Thank you for doing... Yes. Yeah, don't lose that. This is your bar local and everywhere you can spend it. Enjoy. Do you want to get it? Do you guys want to get a photo? Should you? Oh, no, I'll jump in this one with you. First of all, excuse the mess in here, but that was a little bit of a surprise. There was a competition going at the um, at the event, and we entered Miranda. She had no idea. Got caught up on stage. Why don't you show us what you got? I've got this beautiful bag that Craig's really stoked about having to find to store now. <laughs> yeah, I've We've got to find somewhere to store that. Great. Got a lovely drink bottle. We've got a lovely wireless charger uh, we've got a esky oh, what do i do with that um huh oh yeah this beautiful scarf actually this was lovely that's lovely and then best of all we got a um gift card 250 dollar gift card to spend throughout um, the different businesses in Kununurra and one of the main ones here that Craig really wants me to go spend it at is the Kimberly Fine Diamonds. <laughs> I heard $250 voucher and I'm thinking oh fuel, supplies, food, they're not on, food, the, list. They're not they're not on, on the, the list. No. So, yes, pretty good. Yes, well, nice thank you for Aud a free ticket. Yeah. Yeah, thank you Aud Valley Muster, well done. Marima National Park, it's not even five minutes from town and there's a bunch of walks and hikes and things you can do here. We're going to do the full lot. It's uh, about a 5k return, something like that. So it should be good. So I was reading the sign back there. Yeah, 350 or 360 million year history. All these rocks, all these sediments were laid down all those millions of years ago. And you can see with all the upshifting, oh, they would have been horizontal layers. You now with all the uplifting of the Earth's crust, some of them are on a bit of an angle. Yeah. Cool. Very similar to the uh, photos of the bungle bungles I've seen. Which we're going to be hitting in a few days. Apologise for all the wind noise. That's Miranda puffing. <laughs> I am puffing. <laughs> we haven't done some walks for a few days and I'm out of shape. Yep. How you going, kids? Yeah. Keep going, let's keep going. We're dying. Oh, no. oh it's a beautiful spot to die, They're dying. Did you hear that? We're dying. What a place to take your last breath, though. Hey, guys. So we're on a 700 meter return lookout as part of the main loop. And I certainly wasn't expecting this. Felt like we were in the middle of nowhere, but you know how I said we're only five minutes out of town? There you go, there's town.
we're just getting all the troops ready now. Camo, please inform us, where are we going tonight? Yeehaw! <laughs> what a wally. That was my very first ever rodeo, and it was quite an event. <laughs> Miranda's calming her nerves with the bush chook. <laughs> they had a boot scooting display. Some, um, I guess, local boot, local boot scooters putting on a little bit of entertainment. Then they called everybody in, and the place was full of kids and a few adults and a massive big group of people. And I was just about to jump over and get a little bit of footage of me boot scooting with the kids and then all of a sudden someone screams BULL! Everyone scatters. There was a bull charging through the crowd. Mm. It was terrifying. <laughs> I've jumped over. Cam's running towards me. He gets out. Jacqueline's nowhere to be seen. She's not lying on the ground. That's a bonus. She's not in the ambulance. That's a bonus. She was just a lost kid on the other side of the railings. It was terrifying. Yeah, you did well Jacqueline. You climbed over the fence and got yourself out. <laughs> This lady was screaming at me. She was like, come on, climb over the fence. No, now go through it. Mm. Yeah. It was certainly a country experience. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go to another one anytime <laughs> soon. I don't know what I think of them. Yeah. So the announcer on the PA once saw the car, uh, once everyone had gotten out, <laughs> and there was people being tended to, because I saw a guy with his shirt all scratched and torn and bloodied on the back. And he goes, the announcer, well, that was a good old bit of country fun. <laughs> Oh, Kununara Radio, this is how we do it. I thought I wanted to live in the country, but if that's the sort of fun they have, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna change anyway, my mind. No harm, no foul, right? Are we bad parents for one, going to a rodeo? Two? Yeah, go on, go out in the paddock, go have fun with the bulls charge around. <laughs> how, I, don't how, I don't know how we got friends. out though, it's how would he get thing. out? Yeah, I don't know. Just the bulls weren't things. charging I mean, I guess they had him in the pen ready for the next round or something, which yeah. is probably a no-no, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know what I think about rodeos. <laughs> Not just because of that though, but the whole, like, yeah, I don't know. The oh, cowboys an are pretty but, impressive, yeah. but what the, the animals Oh, they're and super stuff, brave and know, super but... fit. You bra I break my body. Yeah, when they're they all in their young 20s, like they're super fit, eh, these guys, but in their 40s, man, they're not going to be able to move, eh? Who knows, man? I, I know nothing about it. I should, probably shouldn't speak out of turn, but. Yeah, the animals aren't terribly impressed with what's going on. No, they're pretty, pretty petrifying for them, I think, which isn't really nice to watch. I think, but there was another. But I don't know. You're in the country. You think you. That's what you do. Go and see what they do, and now we know what they do, and don't know that you we'll know do that again. Funny. So after the excitement of the rodeo last night, we've had a really um, subdued morning. I mean, it's early afternoon. It's already one o'clock. Miranda's off uh, stocking up. She's doing some shopping because we're pushing on tomorrow. We're going to be off grid for oh, the best part of a week. Uh, so anyway, me and Cam just thought we'd throw a line in. You can't come to Kununara without trying your luck at fishing. We're on the uh, the lake side of the Diversion Dam, which is just over there. Uh, we were contemplating on going fishing on the other side because apparently it's meant to be really good fishing um, straight on the other side of the dam. But we were warned that there are crocs right there uh the fishing's good but heaps of crocs so we'd know so, <laughs> so i decided i should say to come to this is called swim beach because they actually they actively patrol for crocs and remove them for this entire length of uh of lake kununara uh, there's loads of freshies 
um, but no salties so that's good so we can come right to the water's edge without having to worry uh, been here for 10 minutes or so I suppose no bites surprise surprise silver cobbler or estuarine catfish I think they're called yeah way too small got to be 43 centimeters poisonous barbs <laughs> I'm hoping I can get him out without hurting myself all right well at least we caught some fish in Kununara <laughs> let's get this guy back well as if it wasn't predictable we caught nothing to keep today me and camo just that one catfish at least I caught something right I outfished you mate so we are on the way up to what's it called Kelly's Knob Kelly's look out for sunset 1.2k return from the car park pizza cake and I'm hoping we go all the way to the top that's gonna be a steep climb if we do yeah I think we do cool We're not even, what, 200 meters in. We've already got a fantastic view. You must go all the way to the top. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. Yeah, there are steps all the way up. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that was actually quite a popular little location. There was about, what, 20 people up there. Um, stunning view. There's no bad sunsets, really. Anyway, that's about the end of this episode, our time in Kununara. Um, gets a bad rap, but to be honest, we've had an absolute blast here. There's so much to do, and the scenery's really, really beautiful. Um, maybe don't go to the rodeo or go to the rodeo but don't let your kids go on the inside of the ring for boot scooting <laughs> anyway we'll catch you next week see ya <laughs>